we're now at Stagecoach Park, and with me is Recreation Area Manager John Laurel, who's in charge of this park. John, thanks for joining us and showing, showing us your park. I've got to start by asking you, Stagecoach, that's a pretty unusual name for a park in Southern California. Where'd the name come from? Believe it or not, there used to be a Stagecoach stop that did stop through here between San Diego and Los Angeles in the late 1800s. So traveled right here through the park, and I understand that ruins of that stage stop are still here on the site. Right, when the park was designed, the uh, ruins were preserved for the uh, future generations to enjoy the history of Carlsbad. And then besides the ruins, when I've walked around the park, I've also seen some, some really great pieces of public art. Why don't you tell us about those? Right, just beneath the, the ruins itself, there's a public art piece called the uh, Crown Lair and it was done by Lloyd Hamrell, a world famous artist, and it was built in 1989. It uh, consists of material of uh, stone, and he captures the uh, characteristics and essentials of the actual ruins. What else is here in the traditional sense of the park? Well, Stagecoach is a 28-acre park. It's got three multi-use athletic fields that get its use from uh, youth baseball, adult softball, as well as uh, youth soccer. We've also got a Lacoste 35 athletic club that uses the fields on Sundays for flag football and adult softball. We've also got uh, four lighted tennis courts as well as four half-court lighted basketball courts. Sounds like, a, sounds like a lot going on here. Now, a lot of those things are organized sports. What about people who just aren't into organized sports and want to just come here and have a good time? What kind of things are available to them? We really encourage people to come down, maybe take a walk around the park, jog around the trails around here, as well as um, take a, just you know, come down and have a good time and read a book. We've also got open gym activities. We've got open play for volleyball, basketball, and badminton. Uh, you don't necessarily need to belong to a team. You can just come on in and uh, sign up as an individual and play a pickup game. We've also got classes, all types of classes for youth as well as adults. Sounds like something for everybody and it's a great place to come and have some right. summer fun is right here at Stagecoach Park. Now I also understand that the facilities are available for rent if someone has a special event they want to do. Right, we've got two real popular uh, picnic areas here at Stagecoach Park. Really get its use from uh, family picnics as well as corporate events. We've even hosted a wedding and wedding reception. Um, we've also got indoor facilities. We've got an activity room and two smaller meeting rooms that really get its use. Now, if someone wants to find out more about this park or other park facilities in the city, who do they contact or how do they get that information? Well, they can check out our webpage. We've got a lot of information on our city webpage. Or they can call one of the three community centers that uh, we have. Well, great. Well, hopefully we've inspired some people to come down and use the park. And we thank you for giving us a little tour here of what's here in the park facility. Thanks for coming, Eric.